Hi everyone, I'm going to present the features on smears or other cytologic preparations that allow you to classify a non-small cell carcinoma of the lung as a squamous carcinoma. Current guidelines stemming from this paper recommend classification of all non-small cell carcinomas as squamous or adenocarcinoma because of differential response to therapy and different predictive testing. Ideally, we do this using the least amount of material possible, so we try to make morphologic classifications whenever we can. First, the contours of tumor clusters are typically irregular, not the smooth contours you sometimes see in adenocarcinoma, also called community border. Now, the nuclei are often described as dark, like charcoal, without prominent nucleoli, but this isn't perfectly reliable, as in this case of squamous carcinoma with fairly prominent nucleoli and somewhat open chromatin. So nuclear features alone shouldn't guide your classification. A reliable criterion is orangophilia on Papanicolaou stain, which is nearly always evidence of keratinization. Make sure it's real orangophilia, not the eosinophilia you often see in the middle of large groups, because the light green SF yellowish stain in Papanicolaou stain doesn't penetrate larger groups as well as the eosin does. Another reliable criterion is keratin whorls, which can be bigger or smaller, but are reliable evidence of keratinization, just as much as orangophilia is. These whorls are often orangophilic toward the center. On Romanowski stains, like Difquick or Giemza, keratinization can also be seen in the form of cells with deep, bright blue cytoplasm described as robin's egg or baby blue, like two of the cells in the center here. So this sums up the uh, features that can be reliably used for squamous differentiation on smears or other cytologic preparations. I hope you enjoyed this. Cheers.